rips through a Newport News home this morning. And the good news, everyone is okay, including two dogs firefighters rescued from the burning home. We first brought you this live at midday. Then your side's Laura Queso was at the scene talking to the family. And Laura, how is the family dealing with the loss of their home? Anita, Tom, they are in good spirits. They say they are so lucky their kids were off at school when that fire started. And they're also thanking fire crews who rescued two members of their family. It's the aftermath of a fire at this home on Louise Drive. A kitchen destroyed, a TV melted off the wall. This is my shirt and I was wearing it yesterday. A shirt that's now part of this couch. All items destroyed by fire and smoke. And they all had a texture on it. She's talking about her walls. They turned from white to black. Brayden Ballard says he found out when he got a call from the police department. I was thinking it was something with my family. I was saying maybe somebody didn't get off to school. But Ballard says he was relieved. His kids were at school when the fire broke out. His girlfriend at college. As long as my family is okay and nothing else is really that big a deal. But what he says is a big deal is the fact that fire crews rescued two members of his family, his dogs, Loki and Daisy. They told me when they pulled him out that they, uh, they were kind of dazed and they were kind of limping around, real no energy, which is really out of character for my dogs. So uh, the fact that they could do something like that, I, it's, it, it's, I really appreciate it. We're told fire crews rescued the dogs who were unconscious when they were rescued. They were given oxygen and quickly began breathing on their own. They are now in good spirits, much like their parents, who say everything inside can be replaced. Material things can be replaced. There's nothing here that I can't live without. According to the Newport News Fire Chief, the fire started at 944 in the morning. It took fire crews just three minutes to get there. Right now, the cause of that fire is under investigation and the house unlivable tonight. The homeowners tell me they didn't even use the kitchen this morning. No cooking, no coffee, nothing. The fire caused about $30,000 worth of damage. I'm live, Laura Queso, 10 on your side.